I have a friend that invited me many times to come to the Salvation Army. She had discovered it as a special place and wanted to share it with me as her friend. I started going to the Salvation Army when I was 13 years old. I was a girl guard invited um, by a friend of mine. I've been an employee with the Salvation Army for 33 years. Things I'd gone through in my life, I thought my heart had been stomped on and I didn't feel like I had a heart anymore. And that's where I was when I walked in that building. The many jobs that I've sat at, I've, I've got to see many different types of people that have come through the door, um, whether it be for material assistance, for spiritual guidance, or just needing someone to talk to. The compassion and the love that I have felt from the Salvation Army, I have, has strengthened me. The Salvation Army, we're there to uplift people. Um, when they come in the door, we're there to give them whatever the need may be. If we can help them with utility bill or put food on their table or just to pray with them and give them some, you know, some hope of when they walk out the door that they have a different outlook on life. Since commissioning, I've had the opportunity to travel the world. My first appointment as a Georgia USA girl was the Republic of Georgia, where I learned that it's not about buildings and vehicles, it's about people. I love serving in the Salvation Army. I've had the opportunity to serve at the divisional level, the territorial level, but my heart beats as a Corps officer in which capacity I serve now. I can't imagine doing anything else. In the Boy Scouts, there's kind of a thing that you want to, you know, pass the knowledge that you received down to the next generation to keep things going. So I just wanted to give um, boys the same opportunities that I had camping, you know, the same experiences, the same um, fun time that I had. When I heard about the position, I kind of heard that it would be uh, not just a regular camp, but it would be a chance for me to interact with kids that don't really get to do the things that they have going on here. They just get out of their environment, so I thought that was really good. I came back this summer um, to be spiritually fulfilled, but to also um, be with the children, and so that I can show them love and be the hands and feet of Christ and give them that love that they don't necessarily get at home. The experiences that they have here for most children will be a once in a lifetime opportunity or once a year opportunity to come out and to experience nature, to experience all the things that we have to offer the kids. They learn so many life skills, how to cope uh, with, with uh, new friends, how to cope with people that they've never met before and how they fit into the uh, cabin life, how they fit into uh, the camp life while they're here for that week. They make friends that they'll have for a lifetime because they'll be able to come back and it just makes the network of friends so much bigger in the, in the world that they live in uh, so much uh, more full uh, because of their experiences here at camp. There were times when I used in my car, um, whereas fun, you know, for fun and where fun became, became a habit. I heard about the Salvation Army um, while I was homeless with, with, some, with a friend, and he told me to call. I came to the Salvation Army in June, and I've been here for six months. It's been a, a very learning experience, um, awesome time that, that I've had the chance to have a personal relationship with God. Um, it's helping me to turn my will and my life over and to truly allow God to work in my life. One thing that they've um, done for me here is I think I carried so much shame and guilt from my first just realizing that I was an alcoholic. And I think that they really, really stressed to me how much God loves me and that I can let go of that shame and guilt because um, God has not, you know, He died for all of our sins. And so um, it's okay, it's okay to have, you know, for Him to, to, to have hope, you know, again, that, that He is carrying me and that He does have a purpose for me. 
I actually worked for the Salvation Army. I worked at a service center about an hour away from here. I, I believe that God has let me do this because He wants me to be a part of it hands on and not sit back and say, you know, I prayed Sunday at church. I believe He wants me in the trenches. I found the Salvation Army because a, a girl that I know in the community invited me to Tuesday Bible study. I would be attractive and on the corner selling drugs. I had a young lady that used to be with me while we selling drugs. Like she sold drugs as well and we used to be together selling drugs. And a guy wanted her. He didn't know her and I knew him. So he came at me about it and asked like if I could convince her. And I was like, um, $150, I'll make it happen. Um, he agreed, gave me the money, kept my 50, offered her 100 and she did it. And so that like started off with the process of me becoming a madam. Um, when a girl invited me and I went to the Bible study, I learned so much like in a little bit of time. It was stuff that I was familiar with already, but it was like bringing me home, so to say, spiritually. And I learned um, what other days that they was having stuff with Haven Atlanta. It's a um, nonprofit organization that um, against, fight against sexual exploitation and trafficking of young women. Every day, um, every activity that we have in the program, it makes you a better person. I'll be um, registering for Bethel um, College of Supernatural the next fall. I entered the CNA program and completed it, and I just recently got a job. Everybody's coming out and doing their part. I mean, I just want to do as much as I can to help out these people that have lost completely everything. Well, the Salvation Army has always been one of the largest, if not the largest organization that I've heard of that has helped with any of disasters that strike. And this one has proven to be no different. Um, I've seen people come through here asking for any supplies and we've given them everything they need. Hello, I'm Major Steve Morris, Divisional Commander for Oklahoma Arkansas Division. And uh, we're, we're coming to you live from Moore, Oklahoma. You know exactly what has happened here. This has turned out to be an EF5 tornado that has hit in this community, really for the second time in about uh, 12 years. And the Salvation Army was on site, I'm proud to say, within two hours of the tornado passing over this area. We're serving as many people as we can, first responders at this location, and uh, soon we'll be serving the victims in and around their homes as they gather those things. Prayer and spiritual counseling and emotional care is our big effort that we're doing here. These families are devastated, and the Salvation Army is proud to serve on behalf of the Lord and the Salvation Army. Thank you for your efforts. In February 2013, the Salvation Army Ray and Joan Crock Community Center opened as a 104,000 square foot house of wonderment built on the old Mid-South Fairground site. This unique center is designed to create an environment that fosters collaboration, mentorship, and personal growth, offering a comprehensive range of continuing education, visual and performing arts, health and wellness programs, and indoor-outdoor recreation for youths, adults, families, and senior citizens. The Salvation Army Memphis Ray and Joan Crock Corps Community Center is a proactive ministry that will build stronger individuals and families, helping to prevent broken homes and lives.